one of the best methods that you can use when you're trying to find if you have a leak in your system is simply by using your gauges. So here, right now, I have my vacuum pump and my line is connected to my high and my low side on my condensing unit. And right now I have my vacuum pump running. It's been running for about half an hour. I'm gonna let it run for probably for about another 20 minutes to kind of make sure we kind of vacuum down the lines. And basically what I'm gonna do is once I do that, I'm gonna turn my vacuum off. I'll leave my gauges connected. I'll leave my sides open on my gauges, my high and my low side. And what I'll do is I'll come back and take a reading on my gauges. So basically right now, if I was to turn off my vacuum, I'd be here somewhere below, right here if you see it, on the 30 mark. And this says HGVAC. So right now I know I'm below the zero as far as vacuum goes. And what I'm going to do is I'll basically turn the system off and then I'll leave my gauges and my vacuum connected with both my high and my low sides open. And if I come back and my pin on my gauge moves, then I know that I do have a leak and my system is not holding a vacuum. So what we'll do right now is we'll let it run. We'll come back, turn the vacuum off. We'll leave our gauges open on the high and the low side and we'll see if our pin moves. Right now, I'm gonna turn my vacuum off. Here, I'm gonna take a reading on my gauges. So right now, my high side is well below the zero. And on this one, we're at the 30 mark on the vacuum's portion right here in the green. So I'll let it stay like this for about 45 minutes, come back and see if this uh, needle moves at all. Usually what happens if it stays, that tells me that my system is still vacuum. The system is closed, there's no holes, there's no leaks. This is reading a vacuum, so if I have a pinhole, if I have a leak somewhere in the system, that will be exposed because the pin will actually move and it won't hold the vacuum, as I said. So here, I waited an hour and you can see that my pin did move very slightly, but it does show me at least at this point that I do have possibly a pinhole leak. So we're gonna have to charge the system with nitrogen, see if we can expose that leak. Basically right now what I did was I put some gas leak detector on all my joints real fast. And what that would do is it would just allow for if there was any leaks coming from the joints to bubble up. And basically I charged the system with nitrogen and right here, I was able to find a pinhole. It's a very small hole, but the nitrogen basically allowed for it to be exposed. Right now, I am at 300 PSI on my nitrogen. If you go to my channel, you can see on one of my links and my videos how to charge the system with nitrogen to find a leak. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.